Hi everyone. This module is presented by K21 Technologies. Uh, just a little background about K21 Technologies. We are Oracle Gold Partner and we specialize in architecture work, implementation work, mainly around install, configure and integration. We also provide online support or a remote support where we provide three level of support and we also cover trainings, both uh, corporate training as well as training for individuals. For those who are not aware about myself, my name is Atul Kumar. I'm an Oracle Ace with 15 plus years of experience on Oracle Fusion Middleware, Oracle Apps DBA, which is ERP CRM or eBusiness Suite DBA. And I also work on Oracle Identity and Access Management and few other Oracle technologies like databases. I'm author of two books. On this day one of Oracle Fusion Middleware, uh, what we are going to cover is we are going to cover overview and architecture of Oracle Fusion Middleware. Then we are going to discuss main concept around Java and system components. So Oracle Fusion Middleware is mainly categorized into Java and system components. So we are going to go in detail about what a system component is or what a Java component is. Then we are going to discuss various homes in Fusion Middleware. So you might have heard of Oracle Home, but apart from that, in Fusion Middleware, you have a lot of other homes like Middleware Home, Java Home, WebLogic Home, Coherence Home. So those are the various Oracle Homes or various homes we are going to discuss in Fusion Middleware. Next, we are going to cover is Repository Creation Utility, which is a tool to create schema in database for Oracle Fusion Middleware products. So schema is nothing but a user in database with including the objects like tables, views, uh, synonyms for Fusion Middleware. So if you're installing Fusion Middleware product like SOA or Identity Management, appropriate schemas need to be created and those schemas are created using repository creation utility that we are going to cover on day one. Then we are going to cover administration and management tools for Oracle Fusion Middleware. Then high availability overview on Fusion Middleware products. So high availability is mainly around you don't have a single point of failure. You have active active cluster. So if a node goes down, you have another node to take it over. Highly available solution, which is key requirement in an enterprise deployment. Then we are going to finally cover on this day one about overview of disaster recovery, which means you have an active active on primary site. However, if your entire primary site goes down, let's suppose uh, earthquake strikes or if there's any problem on your entire primary site then you should be able to recover it on a ge geographically uh, distant location and your business doesn't go down because your primary site is not available so just to recap what we are going to cover in on day one we are going to cover overview and architecture of Oracle Fusion Middleware key concepts behind Oracle Fusion Middleware components like Java component and system components, various homes in Oracle Fusion Middleware, repository creation utility, which is the utility or tool to create schemas in Oracle Fusion Middleware, then administration and management tool for Oracle Fusion Middleware that could be your WebLogic console, Fusion Middleware, Enterprise Manager control, or WebLogic scripting tool and other tools wherever possible. Then high availability overview of Oracle Fusion Middleware components and disaster recovery overview. So this is just for day one of Oracle Fusion Middleware.